The purpose of this video is to walk you through the steps of taking the dates from your schedule of activities and inputting them into a digital calendar that students can download directly to their calendars on their mobile devices and computers, complete with reminders and even office hours and class meeting times if you choose. I'm going to use Microsoft Excel and Google Calendars for this demonstration. If you have a Gmail account, you'll also have access to Google Calendars. I could not find an easy way of making it work for Outlook for Mac or Office 365. If you would rather use the PC app over Google, you'll want to visit the following site for directions. Pause the video if needed. First, create a new Excel file with the following column headers. Subject, start date, start time, end date, end time, all day event, description, and location. Or you can simply download the template I've already created by going to the following site. Pause the video if needed. Describe how much information you'd like to include. For the purpose of this video, I've included class meeting times with locations as well as assignment due dates. You may decide to only include assignment due dates or include additional items such as office hours, college events, or information related to study activities. All day events are indicated by a true or false value as you can see from my example on the screen. You may also use functions in this case that make the process even simpler. If your assignments are always due on a Monday, for example, you can type in the date of the first assignment and then in the row below, input the equation equals to cell plus seven, and this will add seven days from the previous cell. You can drag this function to apply it to all assignments. Once you are satisfied with your calendar, you will click file, save as, and name your calendar. Be sure to set the file type as CSV and click save. The next step is to upload this CSV file to a Google Calendar that you can export to students. Log into your Gmail account, click the Apps button from the upper right hand side of the screen and select Calendar. Next to Other Calendar, select the plus sign to create a new calendar. I'm going to create a unique calendar for each class, so I'll simply use the course reference number to identify each calendar. Update the information for your calendar and click Create Calendar. Click the back button and you'll see the name of the calendar you just created. Now add events to your calendar. Select the plus sign next to the other calendars again and this time select Import. Update the calendar to the class that you're currently working on and select the CSV file that you saved earlier. Click Import. Confirm the import and select back to see the changes. If your events aren't visible, deselect and reselect any calendar names and they should populate. The items with a solid color indicate an all day event. If you would like to set reminders for your events, click the menu option next to the calendar and then settings and sharing. I set my assignments as all day events, so I will scroll down to the all day events notifications and choose to add notifications one day before the event at 9 a.m. While I'm on this settings page for the new calendar, if you're finished with your update, you may take this time to export your calendar as an ICS file to share it with students digitally. To do this, scroll up to the top of the page and select export file. This will download the ICS file to your computer downloads. If I open this file on my Mac, it will ask me which calendar I'd like to include these new events to. Encourage students to select a new calendar. Here you can see the new calendar has updated to my device. Students can hide and show their different calendars by toggling that option. This might also be useful if you'd like to create a totally separate calendar that only contains your office hours. This way students don't get confused by all the different dates. The best way I can think of to share this calendar with students is by adding it to Blackboard. I decided to use the Start Here module. Select Build Content and select Item. Name the section and include any directions for students to download the file. Browse your local files and attach the ICS file before clicking Submit. Reorder the new content item. I put my new item under the schedule of activities. Students will now be able to download the file and add important course dates directly to their devices. I hope you'll find this information useful and thank you for watching.